are generally used for like honey. Some people use supers for the brood. I mean the bees I don't think care because you know they use trees. But nothing of these are sealed together by us. The bees use propolis which they make from tree sap to seal these boxes together. Let's crack the top. See what they're looking. Hopefully nobody sees me in the hand. Found that. So I put some sugar patties in here the other day because they've been flying around and I was worried that they wouldn't have enough food. This right here is your inner cover. You put this on, on top of this, on top of your own super to just kind of keep up an extra little barrier. And then if you listen, you might be able to hear the crack. All right, flip it. When it's warm, this gets more like tar, because again, it's made with tree sap. I'm just going to kind of gently break the seal, I call it, <laughs> to get this one open. Uh, and you want to do like slow dispersal movements, which is obviously kind of a no burner. Because you don't want to freak them out. <laughs> Fast movements scare everybody. People included. Okay, I'm going to turn that to the side. Yeah, sticky that stuff is. That's what they make. That's the propolis they make with the um, tree sap. Oh, sorry, friends. I startled them a little bit there. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't have my smoker either because it's spring. But let's just take our quick peeky poo inside. And this is why I like the Jayco. Because these frames are stuck together by propolis, so you kind of work them together, or you could like break your frames, which I found. Propolis is no joke. They said it on Delivery, and if you get it on your kitchen counter, it's good news. So look at that. The one thing about this hobby, it's a very stickish solution. Always. Okay. You're so pretty. So this would be where they would keep their honey. I think. Alright. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe I won't mess with y'all too much till I get my gloves. It doesn't look like they have much honey in here. I just want one frame. Can you see? Sticky poo. <laughs> okay, I'm looking at that. These don't seem like hands. So when they line up uh, between the frames like that, they're really super cute. But when they're looking at you, that means they know that you're intruding and they might be like, Mer. But that's when you give them a little bit of smoke. I have smoke. I always have gloves on. Hmm. Here. Same with these boxes. You just stack them on and the bees seal it. So I just built the seal on this one. I'm gonna take it all the way out because I don't have gloves on. Hi girls. What y'all doing? Can I look at a frame? Could you please? The sugar on top? <clears throat> Honey left. Okay. Not 
too much though. Oh, their stores are pretty bad. This is their winter stores at home. You see how these are all waxed out? That's the comb that they'll build. Your frames will come kind of naked at first, and then they build it up. But once they build it up, as long as you use a spinning extractor and you don't just crush it, they can refill, and then they cap it off right there. Oh, I'm taking a chunk of the frame that I broke. Let's see what they got in the middle. Hmm. So now I just kind of want to take this whole box off and see what the next box is. So these, here let me, they're just set in the top two. Oh, they know it's me. So when I take a box off, I like to put the inner cover back on top so they don't necessarily know. I'm not going to open this one up. Oh, who wants to be my switch? I know, I'm sorry, Tony. <clears throat> I did not mean to make you mad. And there's like a little lip on the inside there. Did I put that on upside down? No. So the little lip makes it so you're not crushing them when you put this inner cover back on. So again, the box are just set on top of each other. We don't do anything to put them together, but these just use that seal. I'm going to take this box off to see what it's looking like down here. Because, so you know how I said like you're just going to start with this bottom box, your frame, I mean your blah, blah. What the heck is that called? You know, the bottomy part where they land. Bottom board, I think. That's the um, entrance reducer. You want to put that on with the smallest entrance when you first install your bees. And then you just put the inner cover and the lid on this because you have too much room the bees are still building their colony it's like if you have one person move into a huge mansion they have a lot to clean a lot to look around a lot to handle so you want to keep it kind of size oriented to your colony and that's why you build it up as they wax it out so they don't have as much they have to guard So this is a further down box. Ooh, is there still honey in there? I don't think so. They're getting a little ornier here. I wonder if they'll let me take a frame. Probably not. I do see a little bit of honey. Not a whole lot. Yeah, no. You see how that one <coughs> pelted me in the face? That's their warning. They won't come out and sting you. They like to warn you first, so they'll come at you head on <laughs> and hit you. And that's them saying back up because I really don't want to sting you because then I die. Mm, that was not me. <laughs> Let's see here. Let me see if I can get one of these frames without them getting mad. I just want to see one big frame, ladies. Just one. So good. So gentle. Because they wax all this together. Show that beetle first. Okay, I'm not killing y'all, just the beetle. Simmer down. And yes, this is super sticky. This kind of worth it. Whoop. Okay. That one didn't sting me, but it's warning me. So you know what? We're just gonna put this back together now. Because I don't wanna have swollen fingers at work, especially not before a Thursday. But yeah, they're super pretty, right? When I have my gloves, what you do in the springtime, because they can't use all this room right now, is you consolidate down the boxes. And then you keep working it again. So you fill it up, you add the boxes on top. So I'm going to put the super back on there. And hopefully nobody stains my hands, because yeah, tomorrow's birthday. And again, I'm just going to kind of be gentle. I kind of want to make sure you don't kill anyone on the ledges. Just putting my sugar blocks up here for safety. 
It's March 13th. We still might get some snow. Yeah. So, Dr. Sopel, unless your boxes aren't put together, you just need to put your base down, put the entrance reducer on, then you just put all the frames come out so it's an empty box. You just put the empty box on, and then we'll put the frames inside. Inner cover, outer cover, the telescoping cover. Oh, little weight. If you want a pretty brick or pretty rock, because when it gets windy, you don't want to lose your lid. And yeah. So it takes about a day's worth of time. I didn't really do a full inspection here, but it takes a day's time to rebuild what people destroy when they come in to inspect. Well, not destroy, but how I, you know, broke the seal. They're going to reseal that because it weatherizes it and it keeps all the other little pests out. Because if you sit here at the entrance, which I'm about to bring my lawn chair back out, they'll clean up any mess I make. They take little bits of wax. Any little bee bits they'll bring out. And then they'll come all in. That's where they bring it. What was I saying? Yeah, they clean up the mess, stack it together and rework whatever it needs to be apart. Yeah, it's kind of fun to watch. We've been bringing in some pollen. Sharon's bees, on the other hand. I'm going to show you Sharon's bees. They are amazing! I think hers are going to probably need to be split soon. Because... Look at these girls! Sharon's got some amazing bees here. They are, like, ready for the season. And if I stand back here, check them all out. Oh, pollen pants! Pollen pants! Look at those big yellow pollen pants! Oh, right there! I love me some pollen pants! So my hive is not as active by far and not bringing in pollen like hers is which tells me that her queen is going to town making some babies and these babies are making sure she's got all the food well they got all the food to feed the babies oh, 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 that was so cute. and so that metal thing she's got on there is a mouse guard we won't need a mouse guard until fall because that's when you're at risk of mice trying to move in and spend the winter in your hive because they keep it warm and there's plenty of food. It's fantastical. Jeez. So yeah, this one right here. This would be how your guys' box is going to start off. So there'd be an entrance reducer. And you just open it up. You put the frames in there. And then as they build up the frame with wax and stuff, add the boxes until they grow a little more. Sure. 